To put it in perspective, Martha's Vineyard is a town, its population is about 17,000. The median home price is over a million dollars. Let's compare it to Del Rio. Del Rio is a wonderful town in Texas. It's down on the Rio Grande Valley. It has a population of between 30 and 35,000. In one single day at Del Rio, there were 15,000 illegal immigrants, mostly Haitians, crossing illegally in one day. As you know, I went down to the bridge and I videoed over 10,000 illegal immigrants under that bridge. Martha's Vineyard lost their mind with 50, and the little town of Del Rio and towns all up and down the Rio Grande Valley are dealing with hundreds or dealing with thousands. Let me say, Sean, I commend Greg Abbott for sending the immigrants to these blue cities. I commend Ron DeSantis for doing so, and they need to do more. I get the feeling that no matter how Martha's Vineyard would have responded to the surprise of 48 migrants being flown to the island due to the governor of Florida, Senator Ted Cruz was going to say that Martha's Vineyard lost their minds while throwing around the word hypocrite, even though... Thank you. Before I continue, I should let the governor of Florida explain why he took people from Texas to Massachusetts. says that you have to use it for, to get them out of this state. How do you justify using the money if they started in, in Texas? Because they're intend, no, most of them are intending to come to Florida. They are coming to Florida. We, we are taking them from Florida to sanctuary jurisdictions. But the issue is, if you want to do it effectively, um, you just can't police if you have two people in a car and there's a hundred different cars that come in a different week because it looks like your car or anybody else. And so we've put a lot of in- in emphasis in this. There's been a lot of investigation to try to figure out how this is going. Because maybe some were going to Florida. He said that out loud with his mouth. Anyways, Cruz will go on to say that the Obamas should host the 50 illegal aliens in their $12 million Martha's Vineyard compound. You know, the ones that were picked up in San Antonio. They've got 30 acres, he added. And I don't know, wouldn't it be easier for them to stay in Cruz's house in Texas? It's closer. He doesn't even have to be home at that time. Insert joke about him being in Cancun. These are the reasons why Ted Cruz should just sit this one out. But he would just tell his 5 million Twitter followers or those that listen to his podcast or the Fox News audience that he's being silenced. Again, he was going to say that Martha's Vineyard is up in arms anyways or something generic and stupid in order to justify sending more migrants elsewhere to own the libs. Despite the citizens of the island's positive response. And this positive response included the people of Martha's Vineyard transporting migrants. They weren't deported to a military base in Massachusetts in order that they receive adequate social services. Don't forget, they have court dates soon in other cities. And if you say Ted Cruz, Greg Abbott, and Ron DeSantis sent them to Martha's Vineyard so that they could receive adequate care, well, you would not only be a human trafficking apologist, but you would also be ignoring the fact that the migrants were lied to and they were sent without warning. There's a report that the people dropped off in Martha's Vineyard had no one there to meet them because no one knew they were coming. They walked three miles to a community center with no idea where they were. This whole thing backfired on GOP leadership so far and Ted Cruz should either admit it, open his doors, or his wallet, or shut up. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. To see additional content from yours truly, click on the Jeff Wiggins hashtag. You can also find me on my YouTube channel, We Gonna Be Alright. Thanks for watching.